doing? Uh, good afternoon, good morning, good night, wherever you guys are. Welcome to my first official channel of AutoCAD. I'm not going to take too much time. Uh, this is chapter one. So this is AutoCAD 2020 tutorial first level. Um, I'm going to make this short and pretty much sweet if I can for everyone, but I'm also going to be very efficient and very precise in the kind of things that I'm going to do to show you how to be successful in this class. All right, so this is kind of the final product right here. Just wanted to show you guys. Abracadabra. Uh, hold on, sorry, I just want to make this a little smaller. Okay. Let me remove that. All right. Uh, so starting off right here, what we're going to do is obviously, you know, open a new page of AutoCAD. Uh, we're going to start clicking on this, you know, tab right here on the home where we're going to find line and all our other shapes. So we're going to do zero, zero. And in order to see how it kind of swiggles around back and forth, we're going to make this very stable, horizontal and vertical. So we're going to scroll down over here, highlight the restrict cursor. See how this is straight now? It's not, you know, moving back and forth. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start on our horizontal light type at 5.50. We're going to scroll up and our next one's going to be 2.00. Then we're going to hit the escape key. And I'll click Control S and always make sure that you're saving your work. Um, so we're going to highlight the 00, zero point. We're going to click on that again. And then we're going to type in our 4.40. We're going to move our cursor to this side. Type in 4.25. And then we're going to hit the Escape key. So starting off, you know, I forgot I didn't mention and I didn't necessarily click on the new. But I'll kind of show you guys right here. Uh, since I'm moving too fast right here when you click on new you can see that a lot of your work will start on this bottom edge so since we don't want that what you're going to do is click on your keypad right click and click on pan and what you're going to do is just scroll to the side so scroll to the right okay and then you're going to hit escape and then you can you know mess around with it so you get it to where you're most comfortable with and then you're going to put your index your left excuse me you're going to put your your left middle finger and your right middle finger on your keypad. And since I'm on a laptop, you're gonna kind of go towards the opposite direction. See that? Let's minimize it, maximize it. All right, so let me go back to, nope, we don't wanna save that because I wanna kind of show you guys that. And then what we're gonna do right here is click online. This is kind of where we left off. Endpoint. You see how it's going straight and it doesn't wanna connect the dot? What we're gonna do right here is just turn off this restrict cursor. There we go, and see how it moves back and forth. We're just gonna do that. Click connect the dot, so endpoint to endpoint. And click escape, and remember, I always keep saving work. So you see how we have the outside frame, and there's really no quiet measurement on what the heck we just did. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on dimension. So this is on home, dimension. And we wanna make sure all our dimension is showing. You know, so far, so good. That's exactly what I want. And a lot of you guys might have so many zeros coming out. So what you're gonna do is click, you know, on the home. You're gonna go right here, annotate, manage dimension styles, modify, and then all the way to this tab key, primary units, precision. And then right here, see a lot of you guys might have so many zeros. So following the textbook, there's just three decimals until, I mean, excuse me, three numbers in total. So that's where we're gonna click right there. Click okay, click close, and you know, it should modify and change it for you. All right, next thing is next. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click back on the home tab, click on circles, and when you take a look at this picture, you see the circle with that slash side. That symbol indicates that it is a diameter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the center of the diameter. And then when we also look back on this picture, we can see that this three and it's 1.5 zeros indicating where this, this is the location of this inner circle. So this right here is indicating our X and this right here is indicating our Y. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on circle, 
centers diameter, you're going to type in 3, comma, hit the comma key, and then 1.50. Bam. Don't do anything quite yet. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the inner, type in 1, and then type in hit spacebar again, and then right there. And I highlight the center. So spacebar is just basically undoing the last thing you did. And what, what we kind of did is what what we did is actually is move to circle and then center diameter. Click on center. And now we type in two. So then show that diameter. And then show that diameter. Click escape. All right. So next, center diameter. So when we go back here, we can see it's uh, the Y is 2.50 and our X is 1 for this circle right here. So 1, comma, 2.50. And then our diameter is 1.00. Bam. And then we want to also show that as well. Escape, save. Now let's kind of show so intersection endpoints. Bring it down. There's our three escape. We're gonna save. Remember, always save your work just in case. And then next one is our our center our corner. And one point five zero. Click escape. Diameter as well. Intersection. Endpoint. 2.50. And last but not least, bam, bam, and bam. And there you go. There we have it, guys. Simple as that. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Like and subscribe below and comment if you have any questions. Take care.